video. In this video, we will be discussing whether or not Xavi ball is working. What I mean by Xavi ball is that uh, Xavi ball is a term used to describe uh, the way a team plays based on their on their coaches' t uh, tactics. So for Barcelona, their coach is Xavi, so technically Barcelona is playing Xavi ball. Here's a picture of Xavi. If you did not know already, Xavi used to be a play for Barcelona up to 2014-2015 season, in which after he retired, uh, went to Saudi Arabia, played somewhere there, and eventually became a coach. And if you don't know, Xavi is a legend. And uh, back in January when we switched coaches, uh, Xavi ended up becoming the new manager, switching from Ronald Koeman to Xavi. But of course, Xavi is a legend, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be a good coach or will be leading Barcelona in the right direction. So in order to see if the change from Ronald Koeman to Xavi was a good decision and uh, is giving Barcelona more results, we will be comparing a game in which uh, both coaches played the same opponent, but obviously at different time periods, and seeing uh, comparing results and seeing which uh, game Barcelona ended up playing more. Better. The last time we played LT Club uh, was all the way in August, in which the coach was Komen, and then that game we ended up tying 1-1, and with all honesty, LT deserved to win. LT played better soccer, despite not having the ball nearly as much as Barcelona, they created more chances and more shot opportunities, and this was due to their ability to counterattack uh, counter us. And of course, if you don't know, LT Club has a player called Williams, who's a very decent average player, and... Uh, and he always, for some reason, shows up against Barcelona. He always plays his, uh, the best game possible against Barcelona, causing many issues and scoring goals. And here's a picture of that player, Williams. And what I mean that Athletic Club deserved to win is based on statistic sheet, you could see that Athletic Club didn't, didn't have the ball nearly as much as Barcelona uh, based on ball position, but they created more shots and created more big chances, while Barcelona created less shots and didn't even create one big chance. So the fact that Barcelona even scored a goal was lucky, and it was possibly a goal that they didn't deserve, while Athletic Club uh, scored one, and should he scored even more. So that's why I, th I believe that Athletic Club deserved to win. And what I mean by Williams being a great player in that counterattacking one that Athletic Club the game in this uh, in this video, which we'll repeat right now, you'll see how he uses his pace to uh, break out of the, their defensive side and eventually creating an off offensive attack and scoring a goal. This happened all game long, and it was lucky that Bar uh, Athletic Club didn't score, didn't score more than one, and which they would have easily be Barcelona. So a draw for Barcelona was very undeserved and lucky for them. So the change we played Athletic Club last week, and this time with coach our coach being Xavi. In this game, we ended up winning four 0 and Athletic said no chance. They had less of the ball, less chances, less everything. Barcelona deserved to win by the scoreline, if not more. And this was due to the defense shutting down these counterattacks, which caused issues with us back in the last game with Coleman. And this time, because we shut down the counterattacks, Williams was nowhere to be found. He didn't create any chances or wasn't as deadly as he was last game. Here's a picture of uh, Aubameyang, our new striker, scoring the first goal to put us in a 1-0 lead. And what I mean that Athletic Club didn't deserve uh, didn't deserve anything from this game or didn't stand a chance is, as you can see, Barcelona had more ball possession, more shots, and, and more big chances created. Athletic Club created zero shots, uh, created zero big chances, sorry, and had less shots on target and less possession. And if you compare this stat sheet to from the other one, you could see that it looks like it swapped. Barcelona and Athletic Club just switched sides. And uh, one could say maybe the reason that this, is, uh, this happened was because of the coach. Xavi has a, brought a different mentality to this game in which Barcelona destroyed the club, and rightly so. And a good way to compare whether a team deserved to win or didn't deserve to win is by expected goals. And these two graphs is on the left side comparing the game from August with Coleman. On the right side, uh, the expected goals are from when Xavi was coached from last week. And uh, on the left, you could see that the club uh, had a 1.43 expected goals while Barcelona had a 1.18. So I think Club deserved more goals than Barcelona and uh, and possibly even deserved to win. Well, on the right, Barcelona had a 3.24 expected goals, while I think Club had a 0 0.33. So you could see that Barcelona was clearly the better side. They expect they were expected to score more goals than which they did by four. Then I think Club, while I think Club didn't even expect to score a single goal on the right. But then if you compare this to the game from August, you could see I think Club. Uh, deserved to score one goal, while uh, and even more, while Barcelona possibly deserved one goal, but shouldn't have scored nearly as much as Athletic Club. Conclusion: I think that Xavi has created a different mentality in Barcelona, and Xavi Ball is working. He's uh, every player comes out to win, 
and it comes out to score as many goals as possible so that you can make sure that you have an easy win in which the, the other club, the other team didn't deserve a chance. And you can see that in the in the Athletic Bilbao game. And last in last week's game, when which uh, Xavi was coach, Barcelona came out and scored four goals while Athletic Club didn't even deserve one. When compared to Coman's, Athletic Bilbao deserve, deserved to score one goal while Barcelona des, uh, didn't deserve to score nearly as much as them. So with that being said, if you think I'm wrong or want to, uh, or want, if you just want to have a discussion, make sure you comment, like, and share, and, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video, and have a nice day.